There is some debate about what is a good arming switch to have uh, and often you would just have a two position switch there like that but uh, I find that a bit dangerous. It's a bit easy to arm accidentally and disarm accidentally. I want something just a little bit more um, with safety in mind. Uh, so what I've come up with is a long press of the momentary button up here. And it takes one second. You can adjust that however you want. And we do that all with logical switches. So let's go and have a look at how to do it. So I'm using the momentary button on the top of the GX12 here. So we start off with logical switch one. The function we're going to use is the edge function. There it is there. With the edge function, you can choose which button you're going to use. And then you can choose how long you have to hold it down for using this V2 function here. So let's uh, put that at one second. Next parameter over here is the maximum time that you can hold it down. If you had the initial parameter at one second and the second parameter at two seconds, then you would have to hold the button down for between one and two seconds. Uh, now what we want is just some time longer than one second. Uh, there's a, another option here. If you scroll back, you get these double arrows there. And that means that once the button has been held down for one second, and it doesn't matter how much longer, logical switch one will be activated. If you don't put a duration in here, it just sort of activates and deactivates straight away, which is fine. We can use that. So I'll show you if we hold the button down for one second, logical switch one turns on and off. Now, we set up another logical switch, logical switch two. This time we use the sticky function and the V1 parameter to initiate the sticky function is logical switch one. And the logical switch one again to turn it off. So the sticky function turns on when V1 happens and turns off when V2 happens. So let's return back and have a look at them. So now I'll hold down for one second and you can see logical switch two turns on until we do that again. So there we go. That is turning that momentary button into a long press momentary button requiring one second. Uh, you can uh, play with the duration that you have to hold it down. If one second's too long, you could put it at 0.5 seconds or something like that, or 1.5 seconds. Whatever is going to suit you for uh, an arming button. And now what we can also do is uh, set up another logical switch for a call out. And we'll do A is greater than X. A is my arming channel, which will be channel 5. And V2 when channel 5 goes high, so I might put that up at, say, 90 or something like that. So now logical switch 3 will turn on when channel 5 goes high, which is what I'm going to set my arming to. That should work now. So we have logical switch 1 turning the momentary button into a long press momentary button. Logical switch 2 using that on and off to activate arming or send channel 5 high and logical switch 3 activates the call out when channel 5 goes above 90 and in the mixing you can see I have channel 5 is uh, activated by logical switch 2 there and for the call outs I have logical switch 3 which turns on with when the arming channel goes high so you know it actually is armed it's not just a logical switch turning on and not logical switch 3 to call out throttle disarmed.